Today we're going to be talking about Innovate Stormshell Waterproof Jacket, this one right here, and I'm going to let you know my thoughts on it and uh, how it's held up so far. So I've had the Innovate Stormshell for a little bit now and I've managed to go out on a few longish runs with it. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to test out the full waterproof capabilities because it's not been that rainy at the minute. I have been able to test out the jacket in snow and cold weather, but as for heavy rain, I've still got to got to test that properly yet, but I'm sure that'll come soon. So this is the Innovate Stormshell waterproof jacket. Um, it comes in various different colours, green as you can see, black, green and blue as well. I have been out in the rain but it's not been heavy rain so I haven't been able to like fully test it if that makes sense. It's just been like snow and light sort of drizzle and stuff like that. But you can see when it rains lightly you can see the rain droplets not penetrating like staying on the outside so I've got a feeling even in heavier rain it'll still be fine but like I said I'm going to test that out once I get a chance. The price isn't too bad at the minute it was £180 but it recently dropped down to £140 and if you were lucky enough to buy it in the Black Friday sale I think I got it for about £108 or £110 or something like that so I got it quite cheap. Now storage wise it comes with one pocket and that's on the um, in fact let me put this on so you can see there we go so storage space in the jacket is this one pocket here that you can uh, it's pretty small not much space in it but it's good enough to like store an iPhone I can fit in there just about if I needed to or some keys or a card or a bit of money and that zips up all the seams are fully taped to keep you nice and dry so this jacket also has taped seams to keep you even drier and stop the water from getting through any of the seams or through the zip or anything like that it has 20,000 HH which is a hydrostatic head that's like the waterproof measurement. It's made to withstand something like 20,000 millimetres of rain in like a 24 hour period, which is quite a lot. It's supposed to be able to handle pretty heavy rain and keep you nice and dry. Like I said, I've been out in the, the drizzle and snow and it's not only kept me dry so far in the light rain we've had, but it's also kept me warm enough as well without sweating too much. Now there's no ventilation anywhere really, but the material's meant to be quite breathable. I think I've been on like a 15 mile run where it's the longest. Uh, another good feature is it's got these little thumb loops so your sleeves don't move about you can keep them in one place but not just that it also keeps your hand a bit dry and warm. You can still get to your phone and like zips or whatever you need to but yeah that's like a a cool little feature, I like that. The jacket itself is quite lightweight, it weighs 175 grams. I can't really compare it to any other jackets I've got because the other jackets I've got aren't waterproof, they're just like windproof and stuff, but this feels a lot lighter than my um, North Face jacket that I've got, and it's more comfortable to wear as well, to be honest. The sleeves feel better around your hand on my North Face one. They kind of like just, there's no elastic or anything. I don't know, I'm just not right keen on the sleeves on that one. Even though the jacket, North Face jacket's all right, I just prefer wearing this even if it's not raining, to be honest. Once you've zipped it up, it has a little button here that you're able to fasten up um, when the zip's all the way up. I can't zip it up at the minute because you won't be able to wear the microphones pinned to my top. But um, that's to help keep it all in place and keep it nice and comfortable so the zip don't come down and get in the way and stuff. You can basically clip it up. So on the hood itself, you've got this little peak that's got like a mesh wire in that you can bend into shape. Uh, which is quite a cool thing actually. I didn't even notice that before until I've just grabbed hold of it. But one thing I did notice that I like is you've also got this here, this little uh, piece of elastic that you can adjust the hood with, which means that you can adjust the hood and tighten it enough to sort of hold in place on your head. So unlike the other jackets I've got, when you turn your head and the hood doesn't move and you can't really see and then you've got to move the jacket, well this one, you can tighten it enough so that when you move your head, the jacket moves with you and you're not having to mess about, it just fits comfortably, keeps your ass warm and dry. So as far as safety goes, I went and chose the green one over the black, even though I do like my black running clothes really, but I went and chose the green one because I thought, I'm going to be using this in rain more over winter and obviously it's going to be dark and I need something that's got a bit of a brighter colour with so I'm more easily spottable because the rest of my clothes are all like blue and black and really dark greens and stuff so I went with a lighter colour but so as far as safety goes if you didn't pick the bright jacket you've got the reflective prints on the jackets but to be fair they're not right big so if you were going for a darker colour you probably the 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 reflective prints probably aren't going to do too much to be fair you'd probably want to go for a brighter color if you're planning on running in the dark but that's about as far as safety goes just you've got one on the pocket 
and you've got one on the sleeve and then you've got a little um, reflective print at the back that is that says Pertex Shield, which is what I presume what the jacket's made from. One other good feature that comes with a jacket is that it packs away into its own pocket. I've noticed this comes with quite a lot of running jackets that they pack away into their own pocket for like easy storage. So if you're going traveling anywhere or you're doing like a long run where you're gonna need to take your jacket off and then maybe put it on during the run or even take it off mid run if it gets too warm and there's no rain anymore if you're on like a say a marathon or something or an ultra an ultra run you can just pack it up fold it into itself and then um watch you don't trap the material and you can zip it up into its own little package like that now my north face one does this as well they're the only two that i've got that do pack away into their own pockets but i'm going to just go ahead and presume that a lot of lightweight running jackets do the same so that you're able to just pack them away into your backpack but yeah that's the innovate storm shell jacket and um i think to be honest i haven't really got too much negative to say about it the only thing i would say is the zips feel a bit flimsy and it only has one pocket on the chest but i wouldn't really say that's a negative thing exactly because i think the reason why the zips feel a bit flimsy and it's only got one pocket is to keep it as lightweight as possible because the more pockets you have the more zips you have the the better quality sort of i mean it's not a bad quality zip it just feels a bit flimsy but more sturdier the zip and the more pockets you've got i guess adds more weight and I reckon they're trying to keep this as lightweight as possible so that you can obviously not really feel it while you're running and it still keeps you dry and also so you can pack it in your backpack and you're on your way. You don't have to worry too much about weight. I also forgot to mention when I were talking about the taped seams that that also makes sure that this is good enough for mandatory kit for racers. But anyway, that's what I think about the Innovate Stormshell waterproof jacket. I'm going to uh, obviously do a better test once the rain gets a bit heavier but so far it's kept me nice warm and dry i will be back out on the trails again soon filming more videos but i did break my uh, camera stand on the, the last run i did i dropped it and something broke off so i've had to buy some new stuff so i can carry on recording outside so i should be back to normal with uh, them videos very soon and you can expect more reviews to come for uh, other gear that i I have or that I'm going to buy. But yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for everyone that's subbed so far. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video.